So, where was we? Where was we? Just remind me where I was. Aha, right, okay. Okay, so... We need to figure out how... How to evaluate... Hey Prince! We need to figure out how to evaluate the direction now, so... Just trying to remind myself where we got up to. Because it's been a busy week for me. Busy, busy week. Right, so... Direction right. Let's get some constants up so I can see. Right, direction left is west, down, south, three. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Wow, Microman, 13 months. Hey up, mate. Hey up, 13 months. That is inc incredible. Now, and before we get started, um, I saw over the weekend that you'd been going for it. I haven't looked at it yet. I ain't looked at it. I've been, I've been busy. I've been busy, so uh, I'll have a look at it probably on Wednesday on stream and see what you've been up to, and uh, and then have a look. But. Um, <laughs> 13 months mate wow right so I was just reminding myself where I got to up to and we've got up to where we've managed to do a 3d representation of hard-coded stuff so what we need to do what I want to do is I want to do east only pointing that way yeah so I was just looking at the constants east is direction right so that way yeah and I just want to do that because that's where we're pointing when we're outside. When we're outside, that's where we're pointing initially. So I wanted to write, well, see if we can write the um, decoding routine to take the map, look at it going right, and then um, do it for each level. So I was just seeing, right, so we've got these. So these are directions. So we've got the directions, and I think we've got a direction. Yes, we have. So we can reuse that. We can reuse that. So, um, so if we say direction right, why is that not liking that? Oh, because I ain't got the constants. Have I got the constants in? Yeah. Oh. I thought... I thought you could use hash. Oh, it has to be up front, doesn't it? Gain constants. Right, let's grab gain constants. I think it has to be up front. We haven't got any... Um, no. There we go. We've done it now. Right, so we need to... We need to evaluate the... Um, the direction we're going. So we know, we know where the player is because I think that's player X and player, yeah, position X, position Y. Um, direction is, we can use, we'll reuse that. So we'll put it in, no, we won't put it in there. We'll put it in there. We'll put it in there. Right, let's collapse some of this stuff up. 
Right, draw slices. Right, Sli get. Right, collect slice one. Right, that's them all done. Right. So, evaluate. Oh, keyboard needs to move. Direction. Hey, Lacrosse. We are working on our. Hi, John here. Another subscriber. Stay a while. Stay forever. Hey, Doxter. Five months. Not bad, mate. Not bad. Thank you very much for subscribing. Um, yeah, Lycross, we're doing um, we're doing a maze game, and we're trap. So we have because you haven't seen, I'll I'll just do a quick run through. Yeah, evening, Doxter. Is we've got a maze game, and we've got different modes, right? So we've got e easy 2D. So, and this is a where it builds the maze up in front of you, and then it's you versus the maze. Ignore this bit because um, I've got some code in there. But it's, this is the sim this is the easy mode. You've got a 2D maze. You can see where you're going, and you've got to beat the clock. Then we've got. Hang on, let me just. Um, Let me just rem that out. Then we've got medium 2D. Which is, same again. You see the maze get built, but then it disappears. Right, ignore this. Ignore this. Right. And you have to find your way around, and you've only got a little bit to look at. Now, ignore this. Because that's not going to be there when we've finished. And then we've got a hard. Which is. What's well, what we're working on now. 3D representation. Of the way we're going. So we're just doing. We've, we've, we've done the. In the last stream we. Um, we've done the code that builds the slices. So we've got five slices. And I've got a picture somewhere here. Here we go. So we've got five slices. Slice one, slice two, slice three, slice four. And that generates the map. All right. So now we are trying to implement where you only see the 3D representation. And that's in hard mode. Right. So if I do that, that's in hard mode. But you also get here. You get this. You get the preview window. That's what I'm saying. Because we've been working in hard mode. So there you are. There's the preview window a lot. Yeah. So you get the preview window. And also you would get this representation. Now I've got to figure out why we're getting yellow there. But we'll get there. We'll get there. So today's stream was trying to work out how to evaluate the map and then convert it into a three the 2d map and then convert it into a 3d representation so when we start the game we're always pointing east always 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 pointing east so we need to where we evaluate the direction we need to load it's game storage isn't it game 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 game, game storage Storage, that's the one I want. Load direction and then compare it with direction right. Because direction right is east. Branch if, uh, branch if not equal to, and we'll just do exit for the moment. Here is exit. And then here we'll do a jump to evaluate, evaluate east. And we'll do that here. Yeah. 
So we're going to evaluate east. So that means we're going to look at our play x, play y coordinates. And we're going to run through the x. Five spaces. Now, I didn't know whether to evaluate all five, populate an array, and then jump back into the evaluate slices. Or just do one slice at a time. But thinking about it, I think we might we might have an array. I think that's probably better. So we'll put a, an array in here. So um, uh, direction th uh, 3D. Three D that name me pants. What am I tra what are, what are we gonna store? <laughs> hey Gray. Oh, what we're gonna call this array? Um 3D No. So we're com we're converting the 2D map into a 3D <sighs> Sod it. <laughs> I can't, I can't be bothered to figure that out. Uh, right, so we're going to do a th display array, yeah? So, we are talking three bytes for each layer. Slice one, two, three, four, five. Now, um, 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 I'm just wondering whether we should split that. Because that's going to be hard to work, that's going to be hard to evaluate. Or is it? Or is it? Hang on, three times zero is three is zero. Three times one is three. Three times two. Oh no, we could do it. Could do it. Let's make this a bit easier. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. They're the slices. So this is the left hand side. Uh, forward and right. So, um, might as well. Might as well name it. That makes it easier. 
Right. So there are array. There are that's our array. So we are. Hey. Hey Brandon. How you doing? Right. Um. So we need to evaluate going left, and remember, we need to evaluate three, three, ro uh, three rows. So we're going right. Yeah. So we're going to look down five deep. But we need to look at three rows, yeah. Um, because we're we're looking at the right, uh, left hand side, straight ahead, right hand side. So, and I'm just trying to wonder if I should go forward or backwards. Bless you, and again. So. Um, We need a counter. Have we got a counter? We've got a position X and position Y. And we've got a current row and current column. So we could use those. We could use those. All right. So LDA storage dot pause X. Store it in position X LDA storage pause Y and initialize our counters. Right. Okay, so we've took note where we are. We are going east. So we need to loop through we need to loop through the columns. We need to loop loop through the columns. So, um Right, so uh, loop through. Ooh. So we're going to loop through. We've already initialized it, so we don't have to look at it. So basically, we are. We need to we need to do the first row. So we're looking east, we need to do the first row, which is gonna be the left hand side. So whatever y we are, we need to do y minus one. Now um We have utilities. It's in utilities. Where's utilities? Get rid of that. There we go. We have a way of working out where we are on the map. Work out screen location. Work out player location. Oh, that's it. Work out player location. That's the one. But... I rem if I remember, we've got a place where we can grab what's there. I wonder if that was in player. Yeah, it's in maze. It's got to be in maze. Yeah, get set maze location. That's what we want. That's what we want.
Yeah, that's what we want. Get set, maze location. And so Y is row, X is column, all right? Uh, da, 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 da. Is it maze? Yeah. Hey Stacy. Right, so we have to clear the carry because we want to know where we are. So, um So let's do the left hand side first. So if we LDY position Y Yeah D E Y that's gonna knock us up one LDX uh, position X Ah That's going to be troublesome So we're going to have to do that ADC Current Column so that's going to take where we are now and add the, the, the looper that we're going through, current, current, which is current column, and then transfer A into X. Just clear the carry, and then we are going to get what's at that maze location. So we are left, I think it returns back the accumulator, doesn't it? Output is the accumulator. Right. So we can then, we can then um, run a routine to no. It's going to be the same code for East, isn't it? Um, but we've got Evaluate East. So, um, so we're going to JSR decode East. So decode, decoding, so we're taking the accumulator and we are going to um, store it in a temporary place. I need a temporary place. Temp1, we use that. Right, so we've got that. So, um... What we need to do is we need to work, so this is the left hand side and it's going to be the same for all three of the east, yeah? That's why this is a routine so we can run it many times. So um, what we need to do is we need to evaluate, so we're going east and if, remember, if you remember our direction, our direction, our maze, I wonder if I've got the... I wonder if the comments are in here. I can't remember if we put them in here or not. No. No. All right, so I'll do it again. So we store in the array um, uh, bit flags, yeah? So left, right, up and down. And if it's set to one, that means we are good to go. That is the way we're going to go. So, in terms of east, we're going to always, well, we'll look forward, yeah? So we'll look forward, and we're going to say, for, so forward is looking east, so compare. So, if we and it with direction right, yeah? And um, branch if equal 
we'll just do that for the moment. If it's equal to zero, that means that right is blocked. So we'll be facing east and there is no exit. There is no exit. So what we should put there is a wall. Yeah. So we have we have the wall constants already up here. Yeah. So we can flag that it's a hollow wall, that it's a solid facing wall, or it's a solid side wall. So, um, how did we do this? Slice one, wall hollow, solid. Slice two. Let's. All right. I need to run this. I need to remind myself what it looks like. Oh, and of course, it's going to fail because of that. Right. We should be good to go. Right. Where's the solid wall? Solid side. Ooh, solid side. Okay. Solid side. So that is a solid side. So if I change that, we haven't got a facing one in there, have we? So slice two, we're going to change one of them to be, we'll change the right wall to be solid facing. So we're looking at slice two. So this is slice one, this is slice two. There, like that. That's that right, so it's solid facing. So that's what we need to do. Right, let's put that over there. Let's put that back to there so we can see. So if if also I need to initialize donor. Right. Oh. I don't need to do that, do I? Because we're finished with X now. Right. <laughs> <coughs> All right, Microman. Hackerfin, how you doing, mate? Right, so if we're going to load. Um, Solid wall facing and or it with temp two. So it's nothing there. Then we need to evaluate the rest, right? So We'll call this um, determine left wall. So we'll do de determine right wall. In fact, we'll do it in order. Right, so we'll grab that again, and this time we will load it back in.
And to be honest, we'll do that. And it with uh, straightforward. So that's um, no, 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 no. We, no, 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 no. This is not determining the left wall. This is determining the facing wall. So that's determining the facing wall. So now we're going to determine the left wall. So we've done that. Now we're going to look that way. So we've looked that way. And it's blocked. Yeah? Just thought we need to tell it it's hollow as well. If it's equal to zero, it's blocked. That's what I want. Right. If it's not, then it's hollow. Means we can go. Right. So let's do the, let's go through this again. So we end it with direction right. So that's where we're facing. We are facing right. So we're facing east. If it's equal to zero, that means we cannot go east. So it's blocked. If it's not equal to zero, so it's any other number, and in this case would be the direction right, then it means we can walk that way and so it's hollow. And then we combine it with here. Now we can determine the left hand side and it's going to be exactly the same as this. So we just grab this lot and paste it in there. So this time we are, so if we're looking right then we're going to be looking up. We'll just call it blocked for all intents and purposes. If it's blocked, then we say it's a solid, solid sidewall. If it's not, it'd be hollow. And then or it again. And then we do the same thing going right. Now I think I need to do this like so. So if we're facing east, going is, the right wall is going down. So if it's not blocked, then it's hollow. If it is, then it's a solid sidewall. And then we turn back to here. Now, we can store that. We can store that in LDX uh, current column. And then store the result. In our left array, 
because we went up. So we just need to do that. So we'll do that again, but this time facing us, so we don't do DEY. We'll look at the position where we're at. We're at. Look at the position we're at. Decode it, store it in forward. And do it again. So remember, we're still doing quick and dirty. So I'm going to, I'm just going to put some comments in here so we can see what we're doing. So this is looking at left cell. Now left wall. Now left cell. This is looking at our cell. Now, in fact, that's looking at the left cell. That's looking at ours. And that's looking at the right cell. Okay. Um, So we looked at all three cells. So LDX. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you for following. I got a new follower. Yeah. Stargate. Stargate one. Thank you for following. There we go. Right, so, um, so we load the current column, increase it, in fact, let's do this, this, do that, then I don't have to store it again, LDX current column, CPX hash five because we've got five slices branch are not equal to what did I call it loop through columns once we've looped through the columns oh is that too far oh I made it a proper one didn't I there you go once we've finished, we can return. So that should decode and store through the five layers. But, what we need to do is, um, We need to put this up here, here,
Right. And the reason why, the reason why is because we need to CPX um, with, 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 let's get rid of that. Um, oh, how am I going to do this? That's how we're going to do it. So compare that with where's our storage? Here we go. Maze X. Because that is our that is our maximum size maze. Yeah. So we'll compare it with Maze X. Uh, branch if branch if greater than or equal to And we are, that might be too far a leap, but we can try it. So we test, so we test our, we test the extreme. So if, if we are beyond, 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 then we need to if we're beyond the map we need to say that's the that's it um but we also need uh da, da, da. no we will do branch of carry clear to continue which is gonna be here whatever right so that's that so we'll leave that there we'll leave the exit there because here we are going to have to load um, that the wall is solid and put them So array forward, array left, and array right. And then jump to the exit. Oh no, um, we need to bypass all that, don't we? No, 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 bypass it, bypass it. Let's get rid of that. So this is going to be equal. And that's going to be exit. So down here, this is a jump. So it's going to jump back to loop through columns, which is here. Increase, 
test were in the limits. Store it in there. Are we testing for five? No, we're not. Because we're going to overwrite this, aren't we? We're going to have to have this in there. Hey, Tron. Test for five. If it's not, if it's equal to five, if it's not equal to five, go to loop. If it is, jump to exit. In fact, do that. So what we're doing is we're looping through five times no matter what, yeah? And we're going to have to do the test twice here. Um, we increase the thing. We then test whether we're off the map. If we're off the map, then we automatically say that we are facing the wall, yeah? On whatever slice it is, we are facing the wall. Then compare it with five, because once we've done that, we just need to go back round, yeah? But we need to compare it with five, or it'd go on forever. Right, that should do it. So, here, draw slice. Draw slices. So we need to we need to JSR to evaluate direction and then draw slice one. Oh no, we've we've evaluated the whole lot. Right. So, um we need to then um So that's slice not LDA. Let's grab these. Remember, quick and dirty. That's what we're doing at the moment. So we store that in the left wall. We store that in the facing wall. And we store that in the right wall. Then we JSR the slice. Right. Ram that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pauser in here. I'm going to put a pauser in here because we're in hard. So um, right. That should pause it, so let's try it. So that should give us the map and then pause it. No, it didn't. And why didn't it do it? Why didn't it do it?
64. Oh. Right then. There we go, it's paused. So straight away, we're, we're gonna see this bit here. So we should see a wall that side, a wall that side, and then move, and then a wall in front of us. So if I press a key, let's see what we get. Oh, it's so close. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. Um. Let's do them all. Let's let's do all of them. Um, now I've got a problem because I think I think we're going to be having to do this in reverse. But I think we're going to have to do this in reverse. But we'll do it forward. So slice two. Slice three. Oh. Right. See, so the map should pause, yeah. So, yeah, thought so. We're gonna have to do it in reverse. Also, it's not evaluating it properly. It's like it's doing it all the time. So let's do this in reverse, yeah? So we'll draw we'll draw the fifth fourth slice first. Then the third. Then the second. Last but not least, that one. Right, so this is drawing it. <laughs> so he's given us one that looks straightforward. Okay, let's see what he does. Ah! That's because we're putting a space on it, isn't it? That is because we're putting a space on it. Right. Let's put it back to how it was. And then we'll code around it. One. Two, three, four. Right, so we're going to have to code around it. We're going to have to code around it. So this is going to draw all this is going to draw all five layers which is wrong. All right? So we're going to have to code around it. So what we need to do is we need to look at the forward. Yeah? 
and end it with um, solid facing if it's equal to zero then we're fine so it's branch if not equal to exit and we need to do that on everyone so forward facing test it forward facing test it forward facing test it forward facing test it right let's try that again so this time we're we're looking straight down it straight down it so if I press a key and of course it didn't do it because I'm Wally Okay, what have I done wrong? If it's forward facing, oh, ah, I am, a, I am a, yeah, I am a Wally. Right, hang on. We still. <laughs> Oops, we still we still need to draw it. We're not drawing it, we're jumping straight out. So we still need to draw it. So I need to move that from there to there. So LDA, if it's forward facing, get jump to the exit. So we'll get rid of that one, put it there. Get that one, put it there. Get rid of that one, put that there. And for that one, it doesn't really matter. Because we still need to draw it. Right, F6, come on. So we're straight ahead, straight down. We should see straight down with a branch on that side. Oh. We drew it, but then jumped away, but it's hollow. <sighs> Just for curiosity's sake. Oh, right, okay. That doesn't, doesn't feel right, that. So, um, press key. <laughs> right, we're gonna have to go and debug this. So it's not the drawing slices, it's the evaluation. Oh, hang on. Oh. 
already got evaluate slices here. Oh, evaluate direction. That's what I call it, isn't it? Well, I've already got evaluate slice. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, thanks for following Mad Fury. New, another new follower. Is it zero or? Yeah, it looks zero. My my bot doesn't work with follows at the moment. There you go. Um, welcome. Uh, right. So we're we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We can get rid of that. Oh. Oh, that's fine. Do, 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 do. Sort that out. Right, okay, so we have got a problem. We're going to have to put a breakpoint in here so we can see what's going on. Right. You're welcome. Right, um, let's debug this thing. Let's try and figure out what's going on. Right, press space. Press space, press space, come on. Press space, there we go. Right, let's go to that view. So we are now evaluating our position. So Oi, let's... John, pay attention to chat. Why am I pay attention to chat? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> 6502 Kebab has entered the chat. <laughs> I know 6502 ain't here. <laughs> Right, let's um, direction, hand it with two, which is right, jump to that. Right, so evaluating east. Load zero. Oh, that's our position. Really? 13? That is not our position. That is not our position. Probably why it's looking wrong. That is not our position. Um, position X, position Y. That's our position. Am I not? Am I not? A star? Let's have a look. Oh, initialize player. Oh, it's down here. Initialize player. Right. Okay, we've got that in the wrong place. Let's shift that up. Right, let's initialize the player. Right, let's try it again. Shift F6. <laughs> yeah, we'll be we'll be putting bad guys in the maze. Right, so we're evaluating. Right, two, jump. Right, so this should be zero. That's better. One, that's better. Initialize, increase. Right, 
load zero, add zero. Right, that. Oh, that's so close. It's still, um, so that's straight down. So there's, so when we're looking at it, it should be a wall, wall, entrance, straight down. Right. Let's see if it's doing it right then. Okay. So we know that bit works. We know that's adding. Compare it with five, we're not five. Right, load Y with zero. With one, so it's gone to zero, yeah. Add, R, uh, ooh. Oh, where's the view? Ah, there we go. Yeah, that's right. So, transfer it. Then we're going to look at what's there. So it's OF. So the first one it's looking at is OF. That means everything's closed. Oh, have I got these tests the wrong way around? got it the wrong way around I may have it the wrong way around <laughs> you broke it again <laughs> <laughs> Putting a post in, you broke it again. Oh. Oh, it's not broken. Okay. Thank you. Come on. All right, mate. You've said hello. Right. Now, I think I know what the prop... <laughs> I think I know what the problem is. Right. I think I know what the problem is. We are... Let's change that to not equal. Not equal. I think if there's a bit there, it means you can't go there. Right, let's try that again. Right, so straight up, um, it's all the way down, but we've got one going that way. All right, let's have a look. So we know that bit works. So this is now going off and checking. It's now doing our first evaluation. We should come back with FF. There we go, FF. 
uh, sorry F that means everything's blocked let's do F11 let's just see what happens oh they're so close well it's not are we only doing one slice aren't we we're only doing one slice aren't we Oh no, we're doing them all. Why is it... God, oh, why is it coming out when it's saying it's... Um... Right. Here we go. We're going to run through it. It's going to be long and laborious, but we're going to run through it. So... On the top row, when we move up, we're in the border of the map. Now, the border of the map has got everything closed off, saying you can't move that way, yeah? So, let's, um, let's just get there. So, now this is doing the working out. Right, here we go. So... We're transferring in what? We are loading zero. Storing it away. And in it with two. It is two. It is two. Branch if not equal to two. Oh, not equal to zero. What's two? Solid walls facing. That's not right. Yes, okay. Right, looking at the decoding. So here, this is where we got the problem, yeah? So we'll do the, f we'll do the facing. So this is our facing wall. And it with that, if it's not equal to, right. Let me just put these back. I don't think it's right, but I think I'm just uh, playing a hunch. Well, that took its time, didn't it? That's is that 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 isn't all right. I'm going to load that again. I didn't pay attention to the map.
Right, straight down, straight down to the right. Oh, it's, it's, it's there, it's almost there. We've got a solid wall, but this is wrong here. Out wall up, this is wrong. Um, Also, oh, this is this is wrong as well. This is on the rock. Yeah, so we, we've got a problem with the map. Not the map, the displayer, because this should be on this side and this should be on this side. Um, but that's too early. One, two, three. It was... Right, let's do that again. Right, this is interesting. We should have one, two, three, but we should only have one exit on this side, right? Now, we seem to have an exit here, and we shouldn't have, which I need to look at, but that is working, but we should, we sh this should be um, blocked wall. <laughs> trying to find out what my password is not going to work. It's not going to work. Right, so we got to... Right. Let's just check my display code, because... Um, right. So this is the left wall. If the left wall is solid and it's equal to zero, then it's a hollow wall. If <laughs> you're trying to test my command injection, mate. I'm a bit old and what I'm a bit too old and too uh, too wise for you to try that out. <laughs> uh, now last week you probably be able to do, but I sorted that out. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I've got to get these. Um, so what we were doing, we were setting the flag. We were setting the flag. <laughs> Did he do that? <laughs> Well, I don't think it's dropped the table because the latest sub, the latest follower and the latest bits are still there. Also, oh hang on. Also, um, yeah, the points are still there. Right, so. So it's not a facing wall, right, the facing wall is here. See, I think this is the wrong way round. I think this is the wrong way round. Problem is we're going to have to do it on all of them.
Um. I think that's the right way around. Solid wall facing. If it's equal to zero, right, it's got to be that. It's got to be that. The facing wall and it with wall is solid facing. If it's equal, then we we jump out. Right, I'm going to hardwire this. I just want to check that everything's right. Right, I'm just hardwiring it just to see. You all right? Oh, okay. Now that's wrong. Oh, that's right. That's right. But now my um, drawing's wrong because I've swapped those two characters over. Right, let's try this again. That's right. So let's make them all... Um, let's make them all hollow. That's right. Hey Andy. So if I do that and that. That's right, but that's in the wrong place. But we can we can deal with that in a bit. Right, so let's rem this out. So we're back in the same. We we know we know that it's doing it. So. Load facing wall and it with that if it's equal to zero. Right. So the first one should be a wall. So slice one should be just walking, walking through. Which it is. 
But the problem is, it's saying this is a solid wall. Hmm. It's definitely our evaluation routine that's causing the problem. Um. Let's have a look at how we're how we're doing this. So our display routine is fine, we know that. Right. So, um, it's this, this is our problem. So, I've took oh break point still there. Let's take that out. And let's put the break point here. Right, let's see what it's coming back with. So F6, come on. Oh, it would help to be on the right program. So we're here and we are looking. We are looking. So this should be blocked off. Right, so this should have a side wall on it, and this should have a side wall on it. Maybe, maybe we're initialising it wrong. All right, let's uh, let's see what it comes up with. Right, so it's come back with F, so that means all four all four sides are blocked. All those all those graphics you did, mate. So we load it with two. Now two. is a hollow wall why is it saying it's a two it should should be um, it should no two solid ah, not reading right it is a solid wall oh I've got two of them running get rid of that Right, so that's right. Or it with two, store it away. Transfer wine to A, and it with three, so it will be three. So we're oring it with four. Oh, it's, we're doing four again. Have I done a cock up on the code?
one. Slots. <laughs> oh, they're still working. Oh well, I never. <laughs> okay, so um. Need to rethink this. Need to rethink this. Um, because you can't have a You can't have it as... Oh, that's... That was everything and everything, wasn't it? There's a few credits there, isn't there? Right. Or it with two. Or it with four. And then we're or in with four again. So that's six. So six is basically saying that it's a solid side and a solid facing. And that's right. Okay. F11. Break again. So this is now the central one. Oh, 84. It's coming back with 84. Where's the 84 coming from? <laughs> oh dear, you found that the machine, the found that the. <laughs> You found I turned the machine, the game's on. So there's a problem reading. Right, let me just work. Let me just work this out. Only wise position. Get May's location. Right. This is getting harder than I thought. Who's rigged? I ain't rigged it. Right. So, um, oh, F, that's right. Why is that 84? Why is that 84? Right. We'll put a break point there, F11. Right, we're back here. So. LDA X6 comes back with zero. Stores away. Loads Y with one. Loads X 
add zero, transfer it. So one, zero. That's where we are. And it's coming back with 84. Let's have a look. Wow. What's at 70? What's it looking? What place is it looking at? 70. Twenty twenty eight. That can't be right. XI seventy. That's not right. That is not right. Right, we know that one works. Right, come back with 06, that's right. It's this. Right, before we go in it, we're 0 and 1. So we're going in. LDX 70. That's right. <laughs> Has anybody won yet? Eighty four. Oh, eight, eighty-four. Right, I know what the eighty-four is now. So it's four. That's all we need to know. It's four. Right. So, and it with two comes back with zero. So one is forward facing, yeah. One is hollow. Right. So we're on the right track. But we've just set it to two, which is solid. Why have we? Why have we set it to solid? Four, 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 four. Where's my code? Where's my thing? Four. Oh, that was that. Right, I've just realised what mistake I've made. Uh, I've just realised what mistake I've made, right? That was. Pants. This is what I'm missing. That is what I'm missing. So we are ending it with that to the up, that to the right, and that to the down. Rookie mistake. Rookie mistake.
Oh, all the breakpoints are still in, aren't they? Um. Rushing now. Rushing, rushing. Right, here we go. So, I made a almighty <laughs> by not doing the power of two. Oh, and I've probably done the same thing on there. Because that's just come out after one Oh, that's because we've only done one. Right, let's put the other, let's put second slice in. Put the second slice in, let's see what happens. So, we're gonna have a wall on the second slice right in front of us. And it's not done it. But it's done the hollow wall to start with, but it's not done the solid wall. Right, let's put the next one in. Let's put the third slice in. So we're going all the way down. Yeah, it's not done the third slice. Right, so the third slice is this. So it's going to be branch of equal. I don't like that because I don't think that's right. But we'll just have a quick look. And all the way down. But it's doing this all the, all the time. <laughs> Maybe these are the restrooms. <laughs> oh. I I think I think the way we I think the way we're evaluating the maze is 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 wrong. Um Um It's, I think it's getting itself all mixed up. Um, so it looks like we can't evaluate. But. But, 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 but. If we. Right. Let's look at the drawing code. Um, I'm. Still convinced the the drawing code is partly to blame. Um, so the left, so the left, which testing the left wall. Right, let me write this down. So left wall is testing for solid side is just testing for solid side and solid facing oh, 
All right. Solid side and solid facing. The facing wall. Facing wall is just doing hollow. And uh, solid facing. Right. Okay. Let's 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 just have a play. I think because it's evaluating everything, right? So because he's evaluated any, everything, we need to filter off what we don't want. So here we need to. We'll end it with. Um, solid facing or solid side so that only gets those two so we'll do the same for the right wall as well now the front one the front one is is hollow is that and solid so we get rid of everything else right maybe that will work right so we'll just copy that and we'll paste it on the second slice as well because remember we're evaluating all four corners yeah and we don't need to Right, straight down. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere, right. So I think these are branch if not equals. And I've been saying that those branch if equals don't feel right. Right, let's try it again. So hopefully we'll get the straight down. No, we don't. Okay, that's fine. Press a key. Ugh. That's just downright wrong. Solid side, solid facing. So these should be only doing solid side and solid facing. Wall and solid wall, solid side, solid facing. Right. Right, where's the array? 
Right, so one one double oh one. Let's have a look. Right, one double oh one. So this is what it reckon this is what it thinks. So the the first one is the left wall, so so we're getting different numbers. Right. One double oh one, that's what we're looking at. From there. Six five 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 five. Right, five, five. What's five? So five is a solid side wall and a hollow wall. How can that be? But we've filtered it out anyway. <laughs> um, the reason it knows which direction we've because we've hardwired it, we've hardwired it to go into that direction. At the moment, um, the. So facing us, so facing us is six. So that's three, right? Three is solid wall facing, solid wall hollow. See, that doesn't make sense. How can it be facing and hollow at the same time? Uh, gonna have to run through it, I think. Right, gonna have to run through it, I think. Step by step and stop skipping. Is everybody losing? Get direction. Evaluate East. So this is running through the first time. Oh, someone won! Who won? Oh, Tron won! <laughs> right so it's not that right this is loading right next one this should be 80 whatever they are 84 right and it with four, that's correct. So four. Four, 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 constants. Four, two to the power two is four, yeah? So it's doing right. So it's not equal, but it was. That's eight. That's right. Branch of not equal to hollow. That, whoa. What the? It's 
do that again. Right, that's the first one. Oh, run it like a wally. Uh, I need to break it at a more appropriate point. Um, let's go into evaluate, evaluate direction and I want to Evaluate, here we go. Evaluate direction, evaluate east. Right, I don't want to see it. Right, I just want to do that. Decode, that's what I want to do. That, that's all I want to do, right. Shift F6. It's one of these. That's the one. Right. So OF, we know that one's right. 84, here we go. So we end it with four. It's not equal. So we're facing and we, according to this, yeah, it's hollow. That's wrong. That should be branch if equal. Right, let's get, let's sort that out. Right, let's leave that there and put this down here. Right, so this is branch if equal. So if it's equal to zero, then it's a block, we're, we're blocked. Right, let's try that again. Right, OF we know is right, but we'll run through it anyway, so. And it with two branch if, if it's two. Uh, sorry, if it's four, which it is. Branch if equal. It's saying it's hollow. But that's not right. Oh, come on, John. Where's the player controls? Right, here we go. Get. Right, so if we want to go up and it with branch equal. Right, branch if equal if it's not set so if it's not set we can't go if it's not set we can't go if it is set we can go right I Down, right, right, 
Right, if it's set, we can go. If it's not set, we don't go. Right, let's have a look at this. So, if it's equal to zero, Right, so it's saying it's a hollow, f so it's saying it's a hollow wall on the fa- oh, we're doing facing, ah, facing, uh. but the problem is facing at the top, so that's the top, oh, I'm not worried about the top, it's the one in front, aren't I? Two to the power of four is sixteen, yes I know. Right, this is the this is the one in the this is the one off the map, yeah? So it's so it's gonna say it's a hollow wall. Then it's gonna say it's a solid side. And then it's going to say it's a solid side. Doesn't matter about the hollow wall bit. Right. Next one. This is 84. This is the one we're sitting on. So we should only... S so we're looking right. It's the only thing we can do is look right. Right. So it's a hollow wall. That's what I want. Oh, now it's... Why did it do that? Oh, hang on. Oh, it's because it's branch of not equal. Right, we need to change all those. Right, here we go again. I didn't think, well, mistakenly, I thought it was going to be dead quick, but it's going to take more than one stream to do this. Right, we know that one works. Right, this is where we set 84. So four means that we, we can only go forward. The other two are off. So it's a hollow wall forward. So we're looking left, and it's a solid side wall. And looking right, it's a solid side wall. I just had a very horrible thought. Anyway, so this is the the row below us, which is in the wall of the maze. So everything should be set, but it's not. It says five. Why does it say five? So four. Right. Let's put debug mode on. Right, this is debug mode. Yeah. So at the top, all it, oh, whatever peak number that is, is set. This is us, which is four. Yeah. D is four. So we only can go that way. E. E, that's five. That means, that means, that 
that and that. But we shouldn't be able to go down south. That is saying we can go south. No, I can't go south. Can't go north either. Ugh. Decrease the player Y. So it's definitely equal. Okay. So why won't it let me go up? East. Increase Y. Okay. That is weird. Because if it's Yes, so if there's a one, we can go. So why, 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 why? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, hang on. Um. It's the block that we're in. It's the block that we're in. Right, it's the block that we're in. So I need to change this. Right, so it's the block that we're in. Right, let's rem all this, rem all this out, because it's the block that we're in. So we're loading this. Um, and in it with that, store it here in.
Right. I think I think I know what think I know where I'm going wrong. The bl the block that we're in tells us where we can go, yeah? So if we can go forward then we can only go forward, but we're also looking at either side. But the block that we're in says what we can do either side, right? So um the d the decoding system needs to be changed the decoding system needs to be changed right so the decoding system needs to be changed. Right, here we go. So we're gonna check, I'm gonna scrap. Right, this decoding system needs to be um, altered. So, um, So, um, we know what, because we're on current, col we know what the column is, so we know what color, right. So we'll store this away and we will, we're going to set the R position and the, 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 the other two, yeah. So, um, so we do the facing block to start with, so. Now, all that needs to do is whether it's a solid or not. Right? So, we can store that straight away in the, um, the array. Right, so I'm going to... I'm going to ram all that out. I'm going to start over. And this time, see if we can get it right. Um, the key, the key navigation is in 3D mode. Will be that you can go forward, left, and right. That's it. So what I mean by left and right is you turn left and you turn right and you walk forward. Now with the 2D version, you've got the four keys: up, down, left, and right. Yeah. But in the 3D one, you'll be down to three keys, which is you move forward one, or you rotate left, and you rotate right. So there's going to be two different types of keyboards, uh, two different types of controls, depending on the, the mode you're in, yeah? Right, so, facing wall. This should be then stored into what am I using X for I am not I am not right so LDX current column store um I'm not using temp2 anymore, am I? So I don't need that. Get to the top, John. Here we go.
Right, we're initializing our array. Because we don't need that anymore. So we'll we'll get the array. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. So we we're trying to evaluate the three the three um, aspects. So so for so we initialize it. So I'm gonna transfer y to a because we store our thing into a wet. Now x I don't think I touch anymore, so that should be fine. So we load thing and then store it. So we don't need that. So this is facing, right? This is the result for facing. And we don't need that. Right, the next one is to determine whether we can go left. Yeah. And if we can go go left, then it's a hollow wall or a solid side wall. And then that gets stored there. All right. And then right is exactly the same thing. Right. So we need to change the way we do this. So we value, so we work out and then we are So we initialize in this is to the left of us so we don't need to do this we only need to look at the cell that we're on so that's the cell that we're on and then we're setting the um, thing so we don't we don't need to do that don't need to do that because we're already doing it and we don't need to do that and we're already doing it right right let's go back into eval and see so um, let's just make sure that our drawing is right oh we're here so we don't need to do these ands now because That needs to be there. Right. Take that out. Take that out. Take that out. Oh, that's the... That's the jump away, isn't it? Jump away. Right. Okay. Right. Let's see... Let's see if we've let's see if I've got it right this time. I don't think I left any breakpoints in there, so let's have a look. Oh, I've still got it in debug mode. Right. So so we're straight down. One, two, three, four. On the fifth we should have the wall at the bottom and we've got two coming out. Okay, so here we go. Hey, I'm pressing a key. Oh. Ah. So this is all the way down, yeah? Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
Right. Let's activate the um, the others. Branch if not equal to exit, branch if not equal to exit, branch if not equal to exit. Okay, let's try this again. So, straight down and one exit closest to us. <laughs> that was, I think that was right. Right. Um, right, I'm going to put a delay in here. I'm going to put a delay in here. Right at the start, so we get different maps. Right, so we press, it, it should just pause, wait, press a key. We should get a different map. There we go, so we've got a different one. So, so entrance, entrance, stop. <laughs> now, what's happened here is we should have had a wall there. We should have had a wall there. And that's because we're not evaluating that cell. And this is out by one. Oh, it's the wrong character. Um, hang on, let me sort that out. It's on uh, slice one, isn't it? It's the wrong character. Um, it's on the... It's on the right hand side character, isn't it? Left, right, here we go. Yeah, there, it's got left edge, it should be right edge. I wonder if that's all the way down. Here we go. Right, that should be right. So here we go, press F6, so it'll put, right, so it's paused. Random time wait, press a key. Should get a different map, we have. Now there's a wall here, there's a wall here. So let's do that. Yeah, it's not putting the wall in. That's fine, that's fine because what we can do then is is evaluate evaluate that spot evaluate that spot but that's the that, the decoder is not going to work for that So let's run that again. We're getting there. We're getting there. Random amount of time. Right, let's just clip that. Right, so that's our map, yeah? So we've so here we've got a solid wall which we have. 
So this is a solid wall because we've got a solid wall here and we've got a solid wall there because we've got a solid wall. Then we walk in one and we're still surrounded by two solid walls. So that's right. Yeah. Here we've got an opening but the opening is onto a solid wall. So that should be an opening but that should be solid. Yeah. And then we've got another one where we've got a wall and that's right. That is right. So we've got a problem here. We haven't evaluated the, this wall. Yeah. And that's what we need to look at. Yeah, it's going to look at the five rows. And, whoops, it's going to look at the five rows immediately in front of us because that's all we can render. Yeah. So here. We've got one, two, three, wall, and so these two it can't it can't render because of this wall. Yeah, each cell tells us tells us what the person can do. Yeah. We still need to check the adjacent because at the moment in this cell it says we can go south, yeah, which is correct. We can go south, but then we need to evaluate this cell to find out if we can walk forward and we're not doing that at the moment, yeah. That's the thing. That's the thing. So what we need to do is... What we need to do is when we've evaluated that there's a if there's a if there's a hollow wall to the side we need to go to that cell and then evaluate what's there so we can say is it is there a wall facing it and then come back out but we're not doing that at the moment we're just concentrating on the cells that we're in so it, we're, we're looking at this one, we're looking at this one, we're looking at this one, we're looking at this, and then that def defines, so on this side with solid walls, yeah? But this side we've got two gaps, one there and one there, which we have, one here and one here. But for these two we need to move over into that, into that cell, evaluate that cell, and then alter the left the right hand wall on that side same with this side so we've still got a bit of work to do on on the decoder but in principle it's working so we'll run it again and see if we can get a different map up Yeah, we'll uh, we'll uh, um, we'll evaluate the left and right when we ha we can go that way. If we can't go that way, it's not it's we it's not worth it. Yeah, but we'll evaluate the left and right if we need to go that way. So um, right, so that's that. So we we got the same. No, it's a different one, isn't it? it looks different. Yeah, that's different. So. We'll grab that. It's definitely doing it. See, there's a wall here, which is this one. And there's a wall here as well. So we, we definitely need to evaluate on the sides when it's hollow. And we're not doing that. At the moment, we're just saying it's hollow. We're not saying anything else, um, so we definitely need to to look at that. But we're getting there. It's just taking longer than I thought. Oh, hang on, I've done it. Oh, it's on wrong on both sides now. Oh, slice one is always giving me giving me eebie-jeebies. Hang on, slice one.
Is this slice one? Yeah. Right, hang on. Let me just sort this out. So this is the left wall. Ah, oh, there we go. Left edge. And then this one should be the right edge. Right, let's try that again. Oop, wrong one. Go away. Right, F6. Wait a random amount of time, blah, 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 hit. Right, let's see if we get a different map. And we do. Oh, that looks a nice one. Right. Let's just, let's just grab that. Right, how does it look? So we have a wall here and a wall here. Wall here, wall here. We have an opening, but there's a problem because there's a wall there. So that should be a wall. But we have a, a wall here, which is there. Then we have another opening, which is correct. That is right. That is right. Because we can see through. And this is doing all five. So that's one, two, three, four. So that's as far as it can see. Because one, two, three, four, five is one, two, three, four, five. So that is doing it. We just need to evaluate whether the, the, the wall is facing in the cell net adjacent adjacent to us. So we need to change we need to we need to change the code. Oh, and I, that's going to have to be in the next stream, I think. We need to change this code because... Uh, uh, no, where's the evaluator? It's up at the bottom, isn't it? It's down here. We need to change this code because at the moment we're directly affecting the array. Yeah? But what we need to do is we need to be able to... When we... Have, when it's a hollow wall on the right, then we need to go off to that that wall, find out what's there, then come back. Um Right, so we'll do that on the next stream, on the next um, May stream. We'll continue this um, decoding because this is just one direction. We've got to do the others. So we've got to work, we've got to work the logic out. If we work the logic out going east, then everything else should fall into place because it's almost identically the same. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for joining me. Um, it's been painful but that's only because we i forgot how i'd structured everything so i will put this in the patreon github later on um and we will continue the decoding in the next stream so we can get this finalized and then we'll put the control system in place and um hopefully then we should be able to navigate the navigate uh, through it so thank you very much guys and I will see you in the next stream. Take care. Bye. I'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing right now. Thank you very much.